Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mini and True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join me here in Sanctuary Hills, normally where you begin the game. Uh, oddly, where this game kind of seems to think it ends, because I successfully completed the goal of surviving, which is unusual. And well, we're kind of in a bit of an odd place right now, because, um,. There are some ghouls running around, because fake Codsworth is just kind of leading them in a big circle. So, um, we should probably not stick around here too long, to be honest. We should probably be on our way. But before we do, thank you very much to the comments, who reminded me, of course, there's a couple of things I do want to actually go and have a look at in the immediate area, assuming I can actually get there without being spotted by the bloody ghouls. So, step outside... No sign of trouble yet, and some of the trouble might be a rad roach I chased off over there. Let's just quickly head out the back here. Okay, good. All quiet for the time being. Because, of course, I want to retrace the steps made by our protagonist at the beginning of the game. Because up at the vault there is, well, one, the vault might be open. The controls might still work, and if so... I am indeed kind of curious who's in the freezer, because according to this game, it's me! So I'm kind of curious whether, like, you know, my dead husband is kind of just there automatically. I'm not sure, and this seems to be all... Yep, everything seems to be all quiet for the minute. Let's speed things up a little bit here, though. Actually, there's... That's... Was that sign always there? Hang on, I don't remember that sign always being there, though. Yeah, it's nice and quiet around here. Good! There's a few good bits and pieces in this part of the world, if I recall correctly. Including... There we go. 10mm rounds. If I can get into the vault, there's a bunch of 10mm ammo just sitting around inside there. Now that, that would be very, very much worth having. Still quiet. Still quiet. Nice. And there's also a couple of yellow crates, which might, if I'm lucky, generate molotovs or frag grenades. That's... Flare gum. Remind me, flare gun, what do you do exactly? 100 damage, 40 energy, only weighs 2. Not actually that bad, but I'm really struggling for weight right now, so probably don't bother. Sadly, no Molotovs or anything. Fine. One thing here, absolute bare minimum, that is going to be here is... One stim pack. Nice, that'll flip and do, and some bandages as well. Another thing here. Ah! Nuka Cola bottles, and I'm over capacity. Is this going to work? Well, the button works. And there is indeed a bleepy angry noise. Can I actually get down to the. I can get down to the vault. Okay, marvelous. Right, guns out here. Because there's. Ah! Small problem. The vault hasn't been opened from within. So, does this vault even have a control panel on the outside? I don't know if it does, right. Okay. So, as it turns out, tragically, I can't actually get in to vault 111. Uh, there's no control panel around here, is there? No. No, there is not. That is unfortunate. Yeah, of course, because you open it from the control panel on the inside. There's nothing actually here I can use. Oh, well, never mind. Back outside we go, then. Right, get this gun back out, because, yeah, I'd like to use up these bullets and then bin this if I could. What I probably want to do now is sneak around the back of these houses and get round to the... Actually, I'll probably be better off sticking to this side of the hedge. Yeah, there's the um, little kind of storm cellar, hurricane shelter, whatever it technically is round the back of the house round here. And that's normally got a load of bottles in it, together with a few bits of other good quality loot. So I definitely want to get round the back of here and have a little look see at that. Here we go. So I've snuck round the back of these here ghouls. There's the hatch. And if I run into trouble, I can just get up on the roof until the ghouls lose interest. And if there is something down here these days, I've got the gun ready for it. And the answer is, all quiet. All quiet, but, yeah, I recall there's a fair bit of, well, there's a fair bit of dirty water. That's right away. Oh my flipping goodness, I might be able to get rid of pretty much all my flipping rats. That'd be amazing. Uh, the problem is, do I need the, ah, actual alcohol? Yes. 
Marvellous, that'll keep my carry weight at 115 for the time being, spot on. Now there are gold bars here, which weigh 0.5, contain gold 10, have a value of 450. Which is admittedly quite valuable, but only if I could find someone to actually, you know, sell them to. And I found one shop in the entire game so far, and he got killed by a bear. So I've no particular reason to think I should bother carrying these around. Ooh, but 0.45 rounds, that's quite useful, together with a whole bunch of bottles. That's dirty water, but then again, water's okay for the time being. I could just pick all of these up and convert them into one purified, but I don't know if there's actually much advantage to that, to be honest. Yeah, an okay if not spectacular bunch of stuff here. Probably worth visiting, but not exactly great, and I don't have advanced lockpicking, I can't get in there. Right, in which case, time to head back to that house I already settled, fill up that bottle I just found with purified water, and then it's time to leave this place and be on my way, because I have got bigger plans. Though actually, while I'm actually heading in that direction, there's literally no reason not to do the rad away now, I may as well just get rid of the rads. Now that makes me hungry and tired, fine, but... There's a bed right here, and I've got food, so this is probably a fairly good time to be hungry and tired, because I can sort out both of those things immediately. Right, I think this is the right house here, isn't it? The one where I already built the... Yep, where I already built the sink and everything. So, sink. Fill up the bottle. Continue filling up bottles, because I have now got purified water for flipping days. The problem is, what's going to happen with the food situation? I've only got so much food. It's going to run out sooner or later. Okay, back up to properly fed, but that gets me to, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, that gets me down to only four ribeye steaks remaining. Now, that's... That's enough to keep me going for a while. And it also clears out the weight, which is nice. Okay. Probably best we just drop a quick sleep here to get rid of the tiredness. In fact, actually, what time is it right now? It is 7pm. Fine. I will actually drop myself a nice... nine. Yeah, you know what? I'll go for a full 10 hours right now. We'll kick off at 5am tomorrow morning. Okay. 5am, over capacity for the time being. I need to make some difficult decisions before we leave this place. See, right now, my weight is at 114 out of 110. I can drink another beer to get that up to 115, but we have a problem, which is I need to start working towards a very particular plan. While I'm up here right now, my ultimate destination is not actually over there. I need to remove that flag. My ultimate destination is somewhere around about probably here-ish, if I had to guess. I'd say probably about there, give or take. Now that's in the glowing sea. Now normally in the base game I'd probably say, you know what, if I've got a gas mask on and I do some radex, I'd probably be fine to just run into the glowing sea, because the glowing sea only begins like about here. It's not that far in at all. However, I'm going to guess as this mod absolutely loves ghouls and rads, there's going to be a lot of ghouls and rads. So I really am going to be needing some power armor. Now for that, I have a plan, which is I need to actually figure out the best place to actually pick up power armor. And I already know where there's some power armor. Remember when we were visiting the Boston Merrill Shelter? In the army garages just over here-ish, down the road from there, there was some power armor that we ran into. I can't remember whether it had a fusion core or not. So basically, my plan is we need to work our way south from here and we need to pick up a fusion core en route. Now, I want to go to Concord anyway, because there's a bar there, and Concord does have a convenient fusion core in its basement that I think I should probably try and nip in to get, assuming the place isn't swarming with ghouls, in which case there are alternative backups I can go for. But that's probably plan A. We can simply head along the road, pass by the petrol station, drop a save there as well for safety, and then head on to Concord and have a little bit of an explore. Because if that place is roughly safe, and ideally, if it's just got some raiders or similar, I'm running a bit low on ammo. I wouldn't mind picking up a bit more. But in order to pick up the fusion core, I'm going to need five spare weight capacity, which I do not currently have. So sure, do some beer and some water. That gets me up to fully hydrated and my actual carry capacity bag, but I'm still at 112. Really, I need to be down to 105. So I'm afraid, as valuable as they might have been, those gold bars are just going straight away, being sacrificed on the altar of weighing too much. I mean, in all fairness, I've got, yeah, 
like a hundred times ten dollars right there. If I run into a person and they're just using dollars, which I think every trader, well, I want to say every trader, the one I've run into, he was using dollars, I've still got myself plenty of dollars. Well, there is the snub nosed. That weighs 4.2, so I can pretty much get myself five weight right there. So possibly what I need to do is just keep my weight where it is with the booze and then just use that up as soon as possible. Do that, I'll be down to about 105. Potentially, yeah, use some of the IEDs because they weigh quite a bit as well. Those frag grenades weigh one each, which is not nothing. And armor, I'm not carrying any spare armor whatsoever. And I'm wearing a lot of pocketed stuff too. If I could find myself a pocketed... Yeah, right now I don't have any pocketed on my leg or my left arm. I've only got pocketed on the chest piece and the right arm. So if I could find myself just a little bit more pocketed stuff, that would not be the worst thing in the world. Or I could swap out the hat for something lighter. Because that's only giving me 10 damage resistance, which is okay, but not that much for what it weighs. Right, that's the plan then. Following morning and the ghouls, wherever they are, they seem to have calmed down for the time being. Time to just head out of here and head quick as we can while staying creeping towards Red Rockets. If I can, I'll simply basically just found that place, throw up a bed, drop a quick save there and everything will be fine. I've not got any meat to cook, do I? I don't think I do and I've got no dirty water. No, that's all fine. Right, heading away from town. Brackets separating. We're probably safe to speed things up a little bit. Look at this. I've actually got a flipping full action point bar and almost full health. Actually, hang on. How many hit points is this? Because I've just taken extra endurance as well. 207 hit points. Oh my flipping goodness. It's a miracle. Now, I've also got a backup plan as well. If this plan doesn't work, then what I can do is basically just head to Abernathy, which is literally just over there. So if Concord is a no-go, that's fine. There is a totally safe alternative route I can take. Except there's something around here. Hello, there's... Right. There's a dog. Except the dog isn't actually dog meat, is it? No. That is not dog meat. That is just a different dog. I live in a much worse universe where there's no dog meat. Instead, there's just an angry, angry dog that wants to murder you, who you therefore have to murder in return. <laughs> Greet the... Are we sure we're greeting the dog? I'm not 100% sure we are greeting the... No, we're not greeting the dog. Uh, wait, what? Uh, are we greeting the dog? Hello? I mean... No, no, we're not greeting the dog. I've decided we're not greeting the dog. Go away, dog. Right, okay. So as it turns out, we weren't greeting the dog. That was not helpful advice. Right. Red rocket truck stop. Basically, if this game says, hey, greet someone, it doesn't mean it. All right, it's basically just trying to troll you. Okay, one. Lock ourselves in here. Close up all of the doors. Uh, what else do we have here? Can I use this workshop immediately? Yes, yes, I can. Good. Let's just quickly throw down a bed here, drop a save, and then be straightened away before the bloody mole rats show up. Right, quick autosave. Unfortunately, that has made me peckish, but no real trouble. Down to three bullets here. And now, tragically, <laughs> tragically, I suspect the greet the dog marker is going to be on that dog forever. But there's nothing I can do about that. Aside from cook him, of course. Probably best we just cook him at this point. Goodbye, dog meat. You will be missed. So I'm just going to give the actual forecourt here a bit of a wide berth. Because, yeah, I don't know whether the mole rats are about to appear. And I've no interest in fighting them. I don't really have the ammo. Right. Back down towards the road, however. Because if I just rejoin the road, there's a bunch of houses that are open on the maiden road down there. There's also a corpse with some... Okay, wolves on this occasion. Fine. So you decided to take out everything. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, that's, that's a little bit concerning, because as it turns out, you're... Okay, so take out this guy with... Okay, I'd need two shots anyway, so I may as well take the safe shots to the torso. Boom, and boom, and... Okay, this is mildly concerning. Should have probably just thrown a Molotov at them. That would have actually been better, yes. I'm going to go over to the sword, actually. The sword's pretty good, and then... 
Dead and dead. And yeah, that was definitely the right thing to do. Blimey, they're worth a lot of XP though. <laughs> they are worth a lot of XP. And I've just lost a whole bunch of hit points. Marvellous. And these guys have got meat on them. Still, we've cleared out this path at least. Still, we can now go over to plan A, drop the snub-nosed. And as this is indeed conveniently close by, let's just quickly cook up those wolves into some wolf ribs and drop a few hours sleep just for basically a free heal. Now, any chance does this here rotten cow note tragically no meat on the rotten cow? Okay, what I want to do now is I want to follow this way. Hang on, which of the roads do I want to follow? Uh, no, this way. This way. Uh, if I go this way, I'm heading towards the centre of town, towards the bar, and also towards an open house right here. Everything seems calm for the time being. But bear in mind, I can just skirt around the outside of town. I believe there's a chem box upstairs here. Yep, just some jet and herbal stimulant. Nothing major, to be honest. But actually, I have been really, really stupidly... Uh, yeah, taking risks here because I'm still under the effect of suppressed immunity and I've just been sleeping over and over. That is just asking for trouble. But also, I will take $10. That's right. Is that a plant? Yep, that's just a plant growing through a wall. Welcome to a Bethesda game. So, found Concord. Nice and close to the next level as well. Now, obviously, there's some raiders here in the base game who we're well aware of. But there's also a death claw later. I have a horrible feeling this game might just skip to the death claw bits. But if it does, or well, something's here. The brackets are shuffling a tiny bit. Okay. Okay. Remember, if there's anyone on the front street, the bar actually has a back entrance. I can just loop around the back. This is where the death claw will appear. Oh. Survivor, survivor. Okay, let's just quickly, let's not just get stuck inside a building though, right, okay. Let's just very quickly, uh, I don't want to take any risks with this. I mean, I wouldn't mind having some extra stuff, that's certainly true. Do I want to get involved in a firefight with these bastards, however? That's a question. Just head back around here. Keep your distance. I might want to just ever so slightly say hello to some of these guys. And if I can snipe them off long range, that'll be... Yeah, there we go. So what have you got? Looks to me like you're holding a pipe weapon. You... I can't see what you're... Okay, you're holding just a lead pipe or something. Okay. And, ugh, lamppost right there. And you're not quite dead. Though if she wants to just hold still. Oh. Hold still. And down you go. And I've also leveled up from that. Nice. Good. I'll take that immediately. Due to the problems I'm having with carry capacity, I would not mind just taking an extra point of strength. That is certainly something that is true. However, I'm having problems with ammo as well. So taking a rank of scrounger is certainly super tempting. Wanderer, there's now no point in taking because I control multiple settlements. So that's a shame. Gunslinger would be nice, but the comments have been quite firm on this. I'm taking too many actual fighty perks and not enough survivally perks. And I'd love to take Party Girl, but yeah, that's actually uh, on Charisma 7. And I'd love to take something like Lead Belly, but tragically, that's actually moved up to Endurance 8. So that's some way off. And I could take Cannibal, but then I'll just end up with, what's it called? The Dark Hunger, or Dark Craving, whatever it is, that perk. And then I can't eat anything but people. And I'd rather not do that, because actually, for the moment at least, I've got a good supply of steak and purified water. I'm going to take scrounger, because I'm feeling like I've actually got good guns at this point, so I'm finally going to take an actual ammo-related and scrounging perk. There we go. Look at that. Look at me actually taking scrounger. See, comments I do listen eventually. Okay, now we know there was another guy around here. The other guy, however, was armed with a pipe. So we don't want to be wasting ammo against him. 
Where's he got himself to? He was... Oh. Hello. There's... Oh, hello. Right. That'll be you there, right? Yes. Yes, maybe. 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 If I could just get behind him, that'd be absolutely flipping magnificent. I do have sneak too. So... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't see me. Don't see... Don't see me. Who's out there? Who's out there? I don't know, but I bet they're in that direction. If you stand perfectly still, you'll probably find them. Screw it. Just finish them off. There we go. And two and a three and a four will do you. Whew. Right. What did you have on you, by the way? You had just some generic cloth. Hang on. Let's just quickly check your stuff. Nothing of any value whatsoever. Leave him be. Also, don't forget her corpse, just in case it despawns. There's a survivor way up there. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly get hold of her stuff first up. Hello. So, point, uh, point 0.38. Okay, you've got yourself a... Hang on, that's not very good, is it? No, that would just be a bit of a waste of... Well, actually, I could just basically pick it up and then immediately use it to murder the other guys and then just drop it again. Why not? Before we do that, though... Hang on, isn't the bar... Where is the bar? Is the bar... I think it's the next building over. What's this one? This isn't the bar, but this is... Something with a cooler. I will take some psycho tats, thank you very much. Actually, if I can get upstairs... Might be able to snipe off one or two of them before they even know what's what. Yeah, got ourselves a rather convenient balcony right here. Alright. I wouldn't mind spending the odd bullet just to safely take you bastards out. And... Okay. If I miss, however, that's less good. Now they're all weirdly crowded over there. Which is interesting, and potentially actually kind of useful for me. Because now if you're just going to hold perfectly still, I can basically just get a headshot against you. Ah! Now they've found me, and now they're throwing bloody toxic whatevers, and also I'm on fire. This is arguably less useful. Okay, they're over there. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think you've lost me, to be honest. I'm just going to put a Molotov down over there, and just set you on fire. Now, if you guys would like to come up here, up the staircase, one by one, that works for me. And we'll just basically... Ooh, you're very, very on fire there. Right. Now, you guys just come through the flames, one by one. This all works for me, 100%. Are they trying to shoot me through that? I think they're trying to shoot me through the floor, actually. Oh, blimey! Right, maybe just... Yeah, just finish them off. No, I'm shooting through them. Luckily, that's kind of worked. Ah, but now, now we've got the problem that there's... Oh! I think you just died to... Okay! That actually worked! <laughs> that worked. That worked, sort of. Uh, right, that was a well-placed Molotov. That... Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my flipping goodness. Oh my flipping goodness, yes. Right, I've decided to drop that. That gun's kind of terrible. Also drop this, because I've already used it. There's nothing I need out of that, right? There's... No, there's going to be nothing I need out of that. And that gets me up to 33 bullets in my beloved 10mm, and everyone's also dead. Good. Now that... That worked out for me pretty nicely, I'd say. Uh, what did you have on you, by the way? You had... Ooh, you're doing the thing where if you look away, your coat kind of freaks out. There we go. Uh, anything else? No. Nothing of note. Fine. Well, in that case, seems all quiet here. Let's just quickly check out the bar. And then, check out this place. Because given, like, everything seemed to be triggering as normal over there, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, some form of Preston Garvey-related event kicked off. And actually, hmm, potentially even more of interest. Could the Minutemen actually be hanging out down here with free fusion cells and... Okay, so last time I completed Survive, now I've completed Beginning Again. So do I even have a quest at this point? And yes, as I suspected, Fusion Cells for free. Oh yes, oh flipping yes. I don't want the Laser Musket, however. Damage 31 is actually pretty poor combined with the weight and the charge time. 
but that gets me up to 47 shots for this old girl, which is just absolutely marvellous. 33 for here. Bit low on the 308, but, 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 as this mod has been a little bit lax about bothering to actually, you know, take important stuff from the base game out, there is one drop of 308. I bet is still there. If we go to this house at the end here, just check my brackets occasionally to make sure they're stable. Upstairs in this house is a raider. A raider in possession of a rifle, pretty much the first uh, scoped rifle you'll find in the entire game. It's very, very useful indeed. Sitting next to some 308, which I think might be on his corpse. So that could be very, very worth having. Wait, what? Or he's going to be carrying a harpoon gun, because why the hell not, eh? And though that is quite powerful... Uh, it's also loud and ridiculous and very, very heavy. So probably we don't bother, that's a shame. But yeah, his his rifle's still there, it's just now he doesn't have any actual flipping ammo on him. Which is a shame, yes. Now, quickly just peek out here. What spawned down there? One dog next to some survivors. Is that literally it? Is that is that all that's down in that area? Because if it is... I could go and visit that area nice and quickly. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to snipe off that dog for safety. And... Dead. And this space down here looks... Yeah, this is now safe. Fine. So it was just one dog that spawned down there. No problem at all because you spawned around a couple of corpses. So... Oh! More fusion cells. Uh, another charged up musket thingy. I'll take uh, the fusion cells. And leave the rest of it. Yeah, that's fine. Together with, that's just some Wonder Glue. And you are 0.45. I don't think I've got anything that's using 0.45. Ooh, though. Hmm. Recoil compensated heavy radium rifle. Which I would take, but that way, that way is 20. I mean, it's not a terrible weapon. The radium rifle is actually kind of cool. But it looks like it's not actually got the best stuff on it, to be honest. Heavy, long, recoil, compensating, stock, quick eject, standard sights, muzzle brake. No, it's kind of fun, but I have to just leave it be. And also, there was a dead rad scorpion here. A rad scorpion's tiny in this mod, so I haven't seen one yet, but possibly they're flipping tiny. Still, that does let me actually have a rad scorpion steak, so a good source of food and also energy resistance up for an hour, which might be useful under certain circumstances. Right, eat the mutt chops from this guy and the dog I saw earlier. That gets me one back underweight capacity and two feeling a little bit better, just peckish now. Fine, let's drop a save up here and then move on to the Museum of Freedom. Well, after the bar, actually. But yeah, this will be a good spot for a save. Oh, balls, I feel ill fatigue. Great. So I've just picked up a third illness. In all fairness, I should have expected that, really. So now I need to watch tiredness. But fatigue is not the worst. Like, there are worse things out there. I'm pretty happy. I'm still in fairly good shape next to how I've been in the past. And the fog is just rolling in right now. So visibility is not great. Uh, I think there's just, just a chem box upstairs here, isn't there? Not that I'm really using chems, but in an absolute flipping emergency, I could rely on some chems. There's a bottle, that's nice. Ooh, Carmax. You do not see that very often. And let's just also quickly check this place is... All quiet, fine. I don't think there's any... Wait. Why have I got a quest marker? Oh, it's because literally my only quest right now is greet the dog. Oh... I can't greet the dog. He tried to eat me, so I had to murder him. But I have indeed completed beginning again, so now I've got no quest at all. But then again, tragically, it might just be empty stuff here. That is... That's a bottle. That's a bottle. That's a bottle. I will take the bottles, but eventually I'm going to have to stop picking up bottles because I'm going to run out of bloody space. Yeah, right now I've got six bottles and I'm actually full up for the time being. That's advanced lock. There's not a single bit of alcohol here, irritatingly. Okay, we'll check the rooms upstairs, see if there's the weird, creepy mannequins in here, like there are in the base game. 
Uh, is it this room that's got the weird creepy mannequins? That's out onto a balcony. No, it's the next room over that's got the weird creepy mannequins. Yep, the weird creepy mannequins still there. Good, good. Uh, that is, that's actually, yep, that's actual booze. Nice. Remember, every time I drink booze, I actually get my... Okay, that's the second time I've seen that. Electromagnetic cartridges. There was some of that downstairs. That's beer bottle, combat knives... Yeah, that's just Excel. And then we've obviously got the uh, the machete lads standing over the guy in the bath. Because that just happens. Because it's all just a little bit odd. Yeah, sadly, not one bit of booze here. There might be back there, but behind advance locked. Fine. Sadly, nothing of value here. Unless, of course, you guys are sitting on something. Nope, you guys are just sitting on empty beer bottles. Tragically, they decided to actually drink all the booze. And to be honest, they were living through the apocalypse, so I guess I can't blame them. Right, in which case, Museum of Freedom. I need to get myself a fusion core from here. Unless, of course, there's ghouls inside, in which case we immediately say, no, 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 go, 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 get around the back, get around the back into safety, fine. As there's, oh, okay. So, there's just the mannequins. The enemies are not necessarily going to be positioned the same way as in the base game. Because this game does actually reshuffle them a little bit. But that's all fine. I don't need to clear these guys out. I just need to get to the fusion core in the basement. I don't actually want the power armor because I don't want to have to walk the power armor all the way down south. The fusion core would go out before that point. And also power armor, because it counteracts all your clothing, and in this mod, clothing includes your backpack, which actually adds quite a lot onto your carry weight capacity. That's why you actually lose carry weight in power armor. So I'm not in a position to take this power armor. But now, now I'm in a good spot to just sneak around the- oh! No, 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 no. Okay, go! And... Or not, because he naffed off in that direction. Okay. Now he's over there. Now I know where he is. And he's right there. And, okay, found. Let him come through the door. Let him come through. And now he's stopped. And just take a couple of shots to him. Boom. And dead instantly. Okay. So I've been found. Is that by someone up top at the back there? Yeah, that's by someone up top at the back there. They're dead instantly too. They either missed me or did so little damage it barely even countered. And I think I saw someone moving up. That No, that's just a curtain. But if I can just basically get down there, get in and get out again, I'm fine at this point. Yeah, I see you up there. I see you. And oh, come on, show yourself. And I'm tired from lack of sleep because that bloody fatigue. Right, I need more antibiotics. Because this is going to be a problem. There's not a huge number of beds. Oh dear. Okay. No. Okay. I've got a plan. I was originally planning to cut round via Lexington back home at this point. But I could go to Sunshine Tidings. I need to go there sooner or later anyway. I could build a bed there. Sleep there. Everything would be fine. Perfect world. Yeah, I do indeed need some antibiotics. Though I find it unlikely I'll just stumble across any right here. This is... Two fusion cells. Okay, hopefully that's the beginning of... Again with the electromagnetic cartridges. What are you trying to tell me, game? I don't have a gorse rifle, alright? And I'm not likely to have one anytime bloody soon. And got it first time. Unlock that security gate. Okay. Back we go. Security gate open. Alright, now there's... Bullshit. You utter, utter bastards. You utter, utter... Arthur, right, there's no cocking fusion core here. Now, any chance I can actually snipe these people up top off? Because I saw somebody, yep, yeah, there we go, right up there, 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 hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still. Boom, nice. Is that everyone? That might be everyone. Brackets look nice and still. Okay, job done. Good, good, good. Is there a bed in here? 
There might be a bed right up top in the final room. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think there is. And also, this building's kind of weird. And also, ooh, that's a thing. I took Scrounger. That's not fair. Yeah, this place is kind of weird, which is like enemies spawn in as you walk through it. So just because the brackets aren't moving now doesn't mean there's... Why is that there? What? What's happening? You know what? I'll take extra perception. That's lovely. Also, who's Mike Daly? What's going on? Not sure whether to find more army after I find my sister or look for someone to hole up. Have to be some shelters underground, hopefully with friendlier inhabitants than the ones I ran into before. At least I don't have to pay back Kanawa, that grand I owe him. I think I'll miss our poker games the most. Whatever, no use worrying about the old world now. Found a couple of gas masks in my emergency supplies, so I'm going to head to Boylston in the morning. That's the club by Swan, isn't it? The Boylston Club. Block the door behind me, so I can't come back even if I needed to. Should hold for a while at least, Mike Daly. Right, well, I'll take that. Something's changed here. If the perception bubble heads down here, yeah, the perception bubble heads here, and also, well, obviously they knew this place was here because they've done something with quest triggers around here because beginning again ended when I got here, suggesting, wait, was this supposed to be like the starting point for the quest? Have I actually just found the starting point? <laughs> Because they kind of assumed everyone would want to, like, you know, go back to the starting area and go to Sanctuary Hills and whatever. Maybe that guy up on the roof was supposed to be important. I don't know. Okay, well, we've got some people here. Don't need any of that. Uh, there was another guy who I shot over. No, the other guy was right up top. Right. Be careful. Because there's a very real possibility people will just spawn in in this dungeon. Because that's what they just bloody do. Because, like, these guys don't actually appear until you get close. But they're not here. And then when you're going up the stairs, the guys up at the top spawn and you can't see them beforehand. Again, took Scrounger. Feel like that's cheating game. Right, sneak up top and be prepared for the possibility of two guys just spawning in who aren't supposed to be there. But, yeah, if the perception bobblehead's moved, then that's nothing major. Then, presumably, this room's inaccessible. Yeah, probably this room's just not accessible. Okay, and that is... High capacity combat rifle. Is kind of nice, but too heavy. So don't bother. Leave be. Okay. Question is... If that's going to be all locked up, and let's assume it is. I'm now peckish, fine. Requires key. Okay. Who's got the cocking key? I may as well just quickly search the rest of this place while I'm passing through. Something seems to have been done here. There was a journal part one, suggesting there's going to be a journal part, you know, two. That logically makes sense. And that isn't just, like, inaccessible. It's locked with a key. Then maybe the key just doesn't exist anymore. But why lock away that room? What's the point? Well, okay, possibly there's, like, a quest trigger in there they couldn't figure out how to turn off. But, fortunately, there's more than one way to get into that room. See, there's also the old jump onto the vertebird from the church. And also, I just want to quickly explore the church. Anyway, I think there's a little bit of stuff up on the first floor in there. Anything major going on here? I think it's just a random distribution of stuff on the first floor. Du -du 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 -du. What have you got? That is not a terrible... That's the sniper rifle that's supposed to be by that guy. That's a frag grenade. I'll take that too, thank you. Okay. Okay. Just need to potentially get the right angle. Jump across onto the vertebird. And there we go. It's not even a difficult jump, to be honest. That gets me up here. Fine. Round the other side, skipping up to the top. Uh, now, question is, can't activate that... But any chance do you have the fusion core inside you at this point? No, you do not. That's a full suit, but no actual fusion core. There's the... Ah! Michael Daly. Wait, maybe that log is there because this is... That's in the base game. Did they write that? I can't remember whether that's in the base game or not. Possibly the note I found is in the base game and that is the guy who owned the power armor. Fine, but this lets me in the back way. Oh, what the... What's going on? 
I just came through here. Now there's a new survivor looking for me. Um. Okay, well, you can go down. As can you. So, I came in via the back door. And the two guys up top did spawn in. And now... Okay. Now the brackets are still on the move. That makes me think, no, that door's locked up too. But if that door's locked up... What caused you go... Okay, there's some weird spawn triggers going on in here. Hello, is it you guys? I'm thirsty, by the way. Yep. Thought it might be. Uh, you're going into... Yep, yeah, you do not have a gum. Do you... Uh, you don't have a gum. Okay, this all works for me. If you guys would just like to come over here into the mine I just laid down, I do kind of need to... Guys, guys, I'm over here. Guys, I'm right over here. Yeah, that's right. Come over here into the mine. And there you go. That... Did that not kill you? Dear, oh bloody dear. Will you just go down, please? Thank you. And apparently the other guy did have a gum. Didn't look like you had a gun, but okay, apparently you've got a gun. Right, well, wait for him to charge at me. There we go. And now we go into here. And now we can just basically go into... Yep, yeah, taking some leg shots, fine. And two-thirds, down you go, lovely. So those guys I was expecting to... Ooh, fungal purge, I'll take that, thank you. So yeah, those guys I was expecting to kind of show up previously just showed up now, but only after I... Okay, there's totally something more to this building. There must be something more to this building. Because, yeah, there's actual triggers for enemies that don't normally show up. Except, well, technically these guys do. Okay, now that door is open. What the heck have I stumbled on here? Hang the flip on. That gets me Rob Co. fun. Great. And now I've got a feeling this computer... Might be... No, this computer's literally not doing anything. Uh, possibly because it's stuck in, like, the thing it does while Sturgis is playing with it. And now I've got this... Once again, I've got schematics. Marvellous. Um, so this room is in the mod. It's just they decided they didn't want the perception bobblehead to be here anymore. And now this door's open too. And this is all very, very bloody odd. Nothing out here. Though actually, hmm. Now that those guys have triggered and I've walked into this room and I've come out here, I'm very worried by the possibility that the Death Claw might now be primed to actually, you know, trigger. So, Sky, are you okay? I feel like the Sky's not doing so hot right now. I'm just going to go inside and pretend I didn't see that. Well, I've tried using the save and quit option to reload the game, but unfortunately the game just decided that's what the Sky looks like. Does the sky always look like that at night inside Frost? I don't know. It looks not quite right to me, but okay. Apparently that's just how it is now. Fine. I know where I want to go at this point. I want to leave town and I want to go... Yeah, this is the right path to follow to leave town. I should just be able to follow the road, in fact. Because I'll reach a crossroads momentarily. If I then take my right, that leads pretty much all the way to... Sunshine Tidings, passing close by to, what's it called, the Gorski, Gorski Cabin, somewhere around there as well. Now that's got ghouls in it in the base game, so there's probably going to be even more ghouls in it on this occasion. Shouldn't be too bad, though, in the base game, there's also a super mutant behemoth spawn, not too far beyond that point, near Walden Pond. So watch out for that, and if this all goes wrong, again... Don't forget, we can cut via Abernathy over here to go around the back route. Now, just mix a little bit of sprinting in with sneaking to get this all going on a bit faster. And we've got... Oh! What's that up ahead there? Well, that's someone moving. That'll be the Drumlin Diner, I think. Well, you know what? Don't worry about them. Whatever's going on in the Drumlin Diner right now does not affect me. I don't want to go in that direction anyway. I'm going to skip those guys. And I'm going to head down this road here. Yeah, there's the cabin. Uh, any movement there? Anything at all, in fact. Yeah, I don't necessarily want to visit this. That's the, that's the cabin, yeah, that's close by to the giant pylon with the guy who went nuts. But it's got 
rads and ghouls in the base game. And something. Something alive right now. What is around here? I mean, if it's just a few animals, I don't... Yeah, I thought so. Bloody thought as much. Right, okay. Let's get around the other side here. And let's avoid them. That's That'll be Abernathy right up there, in fact. Okay. If need be, head in that direction and hope it's actually got proper little, you know, friendly farmers rather than just bloody survivors. Right, here we are. Joining back up to the road here. And there is... Some form of light up ahead. Uh-oh. That's a robot. That's bound to be a robot up. Yep. Okay. How bad a robot is that? It's a gutsy. And even a critical to its thrusters is not going to do anything to it. Okay. That's fine. Use the standard workaround here. I can go the long way around the lake to get up top. You don't need to go that way. You can totally just work around that. Fun. Oh, hello. There's something close by. I'm over... Uh-oh. Okay. At the worst possible time, I'm overtired from lack of sleep, which is hitting my flipping strength. And I've got no booze to boost it. So I've just lost five weight and no way to get it back and no nuka. Okay, that fatigue is screwing me the hell over. Right, chill out. Chill out. I've got a powerful enough gun here. I don't want to waste the critical. How am I going to keep moving? Oh, bloody hell. I need to lose three weight sooner rather than later here. And I'd rather not sacrifice the bottles because I need those to make more purified water. Okay, dropped a whole bunch of stuff. Backed undetected. Question is... Are you on your own or not? And the answer is not. But the thing you're not on your own with is a rat. Which kind of works for me. And not if I miss it a lot. Not if I completely miss it. Right, that rat has decided it wants to naff off because it was able to take that. Which is quite frankly strikes me as odd. Right, hang on, what have we got? More rats. Okay, well this is... This is just... How are you so tough? Do you have, like, high energy resistance or something? What, what is happening? Right, well, that's knocked it down. And that's killed it. Bloody four shots to take out a cocking rat. Right, that rat's coming back at this point. Hello. No, 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 no. No, don't, don't run away. Don't run the cock away. Just... Okay, maybe we just say the rat can go. Maybe we just let the rat go at this point and just work around. I don't need any of the rest of it. Just keep going. Alright, just ignore literally everything. I need to get to Sunshine Tidings because I need to actually get a good night's sleep. Luckily, you're already dead. If you'd got up right now, that would have been... Uh-oh. It's probably just the rat. It's probably just the rat. It's okay. Just loop around the outside. Keep hitting that vats button. I think... Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not about to die. Okay, we're back in the wilderness with... There's a light up there. I don't like the fact there's a light up there. Okay, just just, just keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. I don't like being overtired. This bit of the map feels under control because it's on a slope. And generally the game doesn't like putting enemies on slopes. It likes putting them on nice little kind of, you know, bits of flat. Because their animations kind of bug out on slopes. So very often you find slopes are safer. Now remember, at Sunshine Tidings, there's ghouls in the base game. So odds are it's going to be five times as many ghouls now. But, yeah. With my new laser rifle, I've got the power to two-shot them pretty easily, even if I'm hitting them in the torso. So I don't necessarily need to be nailing the headshots, if need be. I don't want to try and nip up here yet. I want to try and avoid, obviously, the gutsy. Coming up on this place at... Aha. Here we go. Now, question is, what's here and how bad is it? Because if it was just some survivors and not ghouls, you have no idea how happy I would be. No idea. But, 
I have a feeling it's not going to be that generous. All right, well, something's here. Obviously, something's here because people want to come here because of the really, really good skill magazine. So, what is it? If you notice, by the way, that my vision's sort of blue. Yeah, I did that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I know you're here. There's also a Mr. Handy. Uh, that's Mr. What is it? Mr. Feelgood. Uh, except, just like Codsworth, he's just not named. So, hmm. Right, plan. Remember those frag grenades I've actually got quite a few of? Yeah, we'll be using those, thanks. But on the plus side, I can know where there are and aren't ghouls. Because of the rads, I can just kind of pass by the side of the buildings. So, ooh. There's a feral, right over there. Hello. Uh, now, how easily could I nail you? Not that easily. A headshot would take you out, but... Yeah, I'd actually need, like, three or four body shots, and you'd be regenerating during. I don't want to use my crit for you if I can avoid it. That's just a rad roach. There's the Mr. Handy. If I could just basically have you guys hold still for a second so I could just nail you in the head, that'd be marvellous. I suspect you're not going to be kind enough to... Oh, there's two. That, to me, says, all right, then you just throw a grenade in the cocking door, don't you? Actually, that guy's not as bad, because two torso shots would do for him. Just make sure there's no one. I don't think there's anyone in here, because otherwise the brackets would be going more nuts right now. Right, screw it. I'm just going to put a grenade over that, and... Did that do a thing? That did not do a thing. Right, okay. One more. Right there. And again, that is doing literally cocking nothing. Where are you, bastards? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? They don't know where I am, though. And no, they probably will momentarily, because I've started randomly firing. Okay, and go, 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 go. And that was a total series of misses. This is the flimsy one, actually. Just take him out in two shots. Nice, well done. Where's his friend? Where's his friend? Where's his friend? Where's his friend? Uh, his friend's over there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Screw it, safety shot. Take him out, lovely. There's the critical. Right, undetected. Now, question is, how much more is there going to be? Uh, I don't know. I'm almost detected by something, but there is the Mr. Handy over there. So just because, like, you know, I'm actually almost detected, it doesn't mean I'm almost detected by something bad. Okay. And one of the other houses, I saw a rad roach. You're already dead. And, most importantly, Wasteland Survival Guide. There we go. Double meat. Every cow would be producing... Would every cow be producing... Is it four by default? Or is it three? Like, it would be six or eight. It's very, very good anyway. And I need an actual bed here, of course. Because I need to get a proper night's sleep while minimising the risk of... Uh, yeah, picking up even more illnesses. Because I could suffer infection at some point, and infection's basically game over. So, I've cleared out this building. I know for a fact there's... Oh, no, that's just the robot again. I know for a fact there's ghouls in the dinner hall over there, because I passed on the way in. However, 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 sometimes the game just sort of says it's cool for you to actually have the settlement thing done while you actually... Oh, please be antibiotics. No, nope. Radex. Radex is nice. It's not antibiotics nice, but it's still nice. Sometimes the game just says, hey, that's fine. You can be... Nope, need to clear enemies. What I think we're going to be looking at here is one rad roach in one of these buildings and then the ghouls in the main hall, because the enemies seem to be distributed about the same way as I would expect. Yeah, there's just the rad roach. Uh, so go over to the sword. Uh, so let's just quickly finish you bastards off. And if I can sneak up on... No, I cannot. But you're dead. And go. Found by something bad. By... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Apparently there's a cocking rad roach. My mistake, sorry. Right, you killed that guy, fine. So that was just a rad roach too. I think, I think that just leaves this spot over here. 
Uh, actually, no, that one's that one's the one that's got the fake back, or rather the open back. So, if that's true, all I'd need to do now would be clear out the dinner hall. Fine, I think that's all that's left. Have a little look, see. Be ready. Oh, he's close. He's Oh, unless he's in the medical. No, because I'm close to the medical now. Okay, I just need to accept a handful of rats. I've got a fungal purge, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, go. And there he is. Okay, go. Just, if I can, take a shot at him while he's still... Is that doing anything? Wait. Are you... Is he inside something else right now? Hang on. Does that bubbly texture mean that's actually one of the nasty glowing ones? Oh, I don't like this. If that's what's going on, I don't like that at all. It also makes me very sad I didn't decide to save up my... Actually, it looks like I can one-shot him with a... Okay, I just need to get this guy to wake up. And then basically, I just need to hit him in the head with everything I've got. Is this gun powerful enough to one-shot him in the head? Not quite. Fine. Go over to this. In fact, actually, go over to the rifle. What the heck am I looking at right now? Are you a glowing one? I don't know. Something's weird here. Go in there. Just wake him up. Whatever it is, wake him the hell up. Hello! Yes, as I suspected, you are a bad thing. Right, just get super close to him. And now basically just start... Now we just hope, basically. Now we just hope. And that's the hope we needed right there. Good, 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 good. Now back away from him. Because he does a cloud of annoying rads. I took a few rads there, unfortunately. But he needs to go down. Okay. You're definitely dead. And now, actually, there's something else here, but it might just be Dr. Goodfields. And you're already dead, which is fine. That's another fusion cell. Lovely. That partly compensates me for what just happened there. Oh, yes. Oh, flipping yes. Whew. Right, well, that has worked out pretty bloody nicely. Life is flipping good. Right, so time to get rid of the overtiredness. That's the priority. So, I'm thirsty and peckish, I'm well rested, don't seem to have picked up anything new, but more importantly, I can now also fill up all of these here bottles, and that gets me plenty more purified water. Nice, life is good. So I've got rid of tiredness, I'm still a bit thirsty. Uh, any chance there's, yeah, the medical building's locked up if I recall correctly, I don't think there's a way to get in there short of good quality lock picking. Actually, it is novice. Is it worth me... Yeah, it is, because there might be antibiotics. There we go, gotcha. Okay, please, come on. Oh, wait, 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 what, 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 what? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just murder it. I need to get my critical back up a little bit anyway. Blood pack. Blood pack and a couple of Radexes, which is not the worst thing in the world. A restored desk fan, which is lovely. That's actually some booze. I'll take the booze every flipping time. Uh, any chance of anything else good? No. Other than that, sadly, everything was just... That's a rad away. Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything. All the things. There is nothing bad in the world right now. <laughs> everything is marvellous. Right, I don't even need to do that right now. If I need to do a little bit of rads down, what I could do is... Ah, what I should have done, actually, before I went to sleep, is I should have done a fungal purge. Because uh, the fungal purge would have done a little bit of damage to me, but the sleep would have healed just off. But I'm okay for the minute, damn it. I'm okay. And with that, I am properly hydrated. I am properly fed. Everything's looking good. And I'm also drunk, which is very important for my character. I need to be drunk all the time, otherwise bad things happen. Right! You know what, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. We have made some good progress here. We are pretty stable, and I've actually got some ammo. I've got pretty much everything I wanted this part. I'm pretty happy with that. Aside from figuring out what the mystery of Concord is, there's clearly something there I'm missing, but I'm not quite sure what it is, and I'm not quite sure where that bloody fusion core went either. So we have made it down to here. Good little starting point. So, my destination, ultimately, yeah, somewhere in this sort of an area... My plan now is, if I basically head down pretty much directly south from where I am, I hit the Federal Ration Stockpile. Now that, I believe, does have a fusion core up for grabs on the outskirts. That would very much be worth grabbing. And then I could just skirt around the outside to, yeah, I could basically head straight down over here to the area where I, hang on, where I crossed over 
the bridge. I could follow the route I already know is safe round to the Boston Mayoral Shelter. That would bring me to Power Armor. Fusion Core from, yeah, here. Power Armor from here. And then I just walk the Power Armor straight south through Natick. And Natick also conveniently has, there's a motel. Somewhere in this little group, there's a motel. There's got to be a bed there. So I can drop my final safety save there. And then we head into the glowing sea. Not sure whether we'll get there next week, ladies and gentlemen, but we will definitely get very, very close indeed. I think we'll get to the edge of the glowing sea at the bare minimum. Unless, of course, something goes horribly wrong and I need to completely rethink my plan, which is entirely flipping possible. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. There's been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.